We've known Ken for five years now in Sri Lanka. And um, this conference is actually a lagging indicator of Ken's commitment to QHSE. We've seen it firsthand. They certainly walk the talk. Uh, there's no question about it. Every operation they have performed in Sri Lanka, primarily under the leadership of uh, Dr. Bharati here, who's now wearing a different hat, uh, has been uh, essentially, from a safety process and execution standpoint, flawless. So I think uh, indicators are infinite from that standpoint. We're, we're, we're very happy. Uh, the conference is is excellent, both from a personal point of view as a profession as well as a professional point of view. I am from the industry, so I am I'm familiar with the general concepts of of the QHS any um, field, if you like. But uh, I found it uh, so entertaining yesterday to be updated uh, as to the latest thoughts and views and listening to different companies, different organizations, different regulators. Um, the upstream sector is the newest industry in Sri Lanka, emerging industries. It has the potential to change the country's economic future because uh, of the size of our country's economy. It requires a lot of investment, mostly from people who are outside of Sri Lanka. And for that purpose, the country is gearing itself up to, to cater to these investors, facilitate their investment, and uh, give them an operating environment that they will feel comfortable with in order to make that investment uh, to, to conduct all the exploration activities required to, to locate the reserves and oil and gas we believe we have. Going by uh, the, the, the DGH's excellent example, the regulator is in a position to drive certain changes, but there are several Sri Lankan companies in the conference here today as well who have come here specifically to, to pick up um, the best of what's going around in the industry uh, with a view to seeding uh, that, the beginnings of those processes in Sri Lanka. So I, I believe this conference will have a significant impact.